Hello and welcome to Endless Space 2, an update 3. This update introduces the uh, Riftborn, I think it is, and um, well, I had a game in progress uh, as the United Empire, as you may know, or may not, but uh, because of this update, that is now wiped, unfortunately, all those, uh, well, the saves are gone. Not compatible, I guess. So I thought uh, this is a fun game. Let's pick another new game. Let's do that. And uh, this time, let's go ahead and pick the Riftborn. Let's see what they're all about. I have not actually played as them, except just started up a game to see, you know, the stats, initial stats. So what do we get? We get uh, Continuum Sculptors. And this is a, a big deal, I think. I looked into this a little bit. Um, we can build a singularity and affect time by placing them on a system. Either good or bad. So we'll see how we do that. They will only last for a fixed time. And you must be under our vision, so within our circle of control, basically. Uh, the Riftborn, what do they get? They get 5 Industry, 5 Dust, and 5 uh, Science per population, then. So that's pretty good. And Faction Traits, we get 20% extra construction on systems. That's really good. But uh, we have a negative 1 movement points on ships, so we're pretty slow. We start with uh, the Xeno Linguistic Tech already researched. We'll take a look at that once we get into the game, obviously. And we have the Epistis. These are the Epistis. That's a race, mechanical race, I think it is. We'll take a look at them as well, obviously. Rational Minds, 10% bonus um, as far as uh, tech, science. Biophobic, though. Negative Happiness, 5 on Fertile Systems. If you remember that Xeno Industrial thing that gives you more uh, production, that's on Fertile Systems, so you get an extra 10, I think it is. So that's kind of bad, because that means we get negative 5 if you have the Fertile Systems. We don't want too many of them, I guess. Plasma, Metallurgy, we have that tech as well. And here you can see the different ships. Imaginary, what was this one called? Irrational, Imaginary, Natural, Rational, Triangular, and Tetrahedral. Oh, and Prime. Yeah, okay. That is very good. So, we'll go with that. Let me go ahead and select that. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm going to have five competitors. So, Gravers, Horatio, Vodiani, Sophons, and Lamares. Hopefully, this time around, we can finish the game, actually. But I think I probably can, since I'm pretty early here with the update. So, um, what are we also going to do? Six competitors. That's us, plus the five. Normal speed, game difficulty... You know, it seemed like it was a little bit easy on hard, right? Last time I was pretty much dominating. They didn't leave their systems, it seemed like. Let's go up to impossible. Now, they say impossible, so I'm not sure what's the next one there. Endless, yeah. Mm, we'll go with impossible and see what I can do. Minor faction difficulty, normal. Um, Here's a new, I think this is new, this galaxy shape here. Oh, void. Let's go with that. And it's going to be a different type of game. If you remember the the uh, United Empire I played before, they had that influence bonus that was really handy. This is going to be a completely different game now. So let's see what that actually means. Uh, I have to keep in mind that that influence thing that I had before is not relevant here. Instead, we get the singularity. And you can see here, there are three of them here we can have activated at a time. And it's going to be allocated to a system, but they can't do it yet. Let's take a look at the Phaeton here. We have three planets. We have the blue one. The other two it can't be colonized right now. It's not a solid circle. What do we have? We have our planet. So we have a cold snow planet. I guess that's what we like. Negative 10 happiness on that. Great. That means that we are 40% content. Mm-hmm. Not good right there, but uh, what do we have population-wise? We have two of the Riftborn here, and then one Epistus, plus one Industry, and five, plus five, that's interesting, five food on Sterile. This one here is not Sterile, as you can see, we show up here. Here's one that's Sterile, and that is a Lava. So if you put an Epistus there for each one of them, you get five Five food, that is not bad at all. Huh, okay, so that's something we want to do. We want to probably start to research planets here. 
Um, I'm thinking. Anyway, let's go down and see. Uh, look at our stuff here. Yeah, the singularities are right here. Here's a good one. If you apply this one, so I imagine we'll do this one on our system, we get 25% on everything, dust, food, etc. And then 100% recovery rate from assignment on heroes and experience as well. If you do the other one, you get deletion singularity. That's the opposite. So ideally, want to put that on an enemy's system that's within our vision. We'll see how that goes. Uh, what else do we have? Machine embodiment. Create a new population. We can just go ahead and create one for uh, of the, the Riftborn. It's going to cost 250 and take five turns. Okay. Um... Well, right now it would take five turns. We have 54. That's not very much, actually. Hmm. All right. We start with Cerebral Reality. We know that one from before. That one of the basic stuff you can start with. Xeno Industrial Infrastructure. We have that one, but look. Plus 10 per fertile. We don't want fertile, right? In this case, we'd get plus 10 total because it's a planet. But our planets are not fertile or temperate. So what do we do? Um, hmm. I think... I think I'm going to go for... Well, this one still gives us 10. It takes 6 turns. We'll go for this uh, drone networks first. And then we'll do Cerebral Reality. Ah, then we'll do Xeno Industrial and then Cerebral Reality. So what do we look at here then? Well, they've changed format a little bit. Or the, the look and feel of the game. Here we have uh, the population, 3. And next one's going to be an Epistus. It's going to be in 8 turns. We have 2 Riftborn and 1 Epistus. 40% content uh, system representatives. That's important to determine how what laws you can have. And uh, it looks like this graph is new. This graph shows the, how citizens of the system react politically to events. Hmm. Okay. Show in detail. Okay. Reform population. Unlocked industrial list. Technology is 20 turns. So strong support for that. And they have weak support on the Epistus. Okay. 68%, 32. Okay. Um, so that is that. Uh, we're making a decent amount here. It looks like, and it looks like we're getting titanium and hyperium on all planets here. See that? That's suspicious. We'll see how that goes. Um, there's nothing here to look at. Well, mineral, mineral rich over here. That's good. That gives us a bonus there. Plus one industry, it looks like. Plus one science. Oh no, that's an anomaly. Plus uh, three industry per population on planet. But look, the happiness is negative there. Negative 20. I'm looking over here, by the way, on the left side. Hmm, okay. Well, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and pick a governor. We have one leader here. A Riftborn. E, I guess. Yep. Hero management. There he is. He is an overseer. Focuses on system-wide resources and fleet development. You can see here, Hero Skill Mastery uh, Labor. We're going to go ahead and assign him to the system right away. We're going to pick, well, our only system here, Phaeton. Okay, that's good. We can't do anything else with him. I think that's fine. And we have the introductory text here. Oh, background. Set the stage. Okay, we come because of rift in the fabric of our world, Koraz. Yep, we'll see how that goes. So that's nothing else I can do here, but I can go and look at my research uh, setup. And I think they've added another circle here, haven't they? Didn't seem like they were four there before. Anyway, we start over here with these two. Uh, plasma metallurgy, and we get interplanetary transport network because of that. That's a pretty good one. Remember we have uh, titanium and hyperium there? Well, this will give us three industry per population. We should actually build that right away. And we have Hyperium available there, yeah. And here we get what? The Xeno Industrial Infrastructure. Let me go back, actually, to our system. Interplanetary Transport Network. So in this case, three population, and then four per population. That's 12 more. You know, that's quite good. 280. This one gives us five. That's better than this one, right? We take that one off the table and move... Not... No, not the same one. That one. And drag this up there. How about that? It will take us a while, but let's do that. Okay, let's go back to the research now. Hmm. So I think it works pretty close to the same way as before, if with more text. 
All the red ones here are military related. And I think over here we have some ships. Yep, you sure do. The weapons of different kinds. Increasing your command cap over here. Down here we have um, blue ones. Which is, well, what do they call it? Science and exploration. Yeah, exploration. It means that we can um, do... Uh, we can colonize different planet types. That's going to be important, I think. Hmm. And remember, our ships are very slow. If we pick this one here, we get free movement. This one... Wait a minute. Um, This is different. Wasn't there a popular speed here? I thought there was. Debris analyzer. Science per destroyed command point 10. Hmm. Okay. And we can uh, do a colonization there. Where is the other? Oh, here is one. Increase warp speed, but not this one. Wormholes. Okay, I don't see anything that increases our speed, though, in general now. Hmm. Now, um, one important thing to get is this one here, this next level. Right here. Unlock level 2 upgrade of your system, so we can get a colony, I think it is. I really do want that, because once you do that, you can move population between systems, and that is very, very convenient. Considering our Epistus, remember that they gave us uh, the plus five food on, on uh, what was it they gave food on? Well, let's go back into, let's look at them here. Five on sterile, on sterile planets. Hmm. Although sterile is going to take a while to research, right? It's going to be like barren and lava and stuff like that. I'm not going to go for military right away, though. So the question is, do I go here or no? Um, no, I think we'll go down here. Here's the science one, but again, it's fertile. Don't know if I need that so much. Mm, maybe we'll start with the Mediterranean. No, wait a minute. Remember, we have a negative five modifier on happiness for uh, fertile planets. Well, we can offset that by getting infinite supermarkets. 20. Let's go ahead and research that. Then we'll do these two, unless we find something else. So that is that. So we've done our research. Well, set it up anyway. We are, I guess, getting plus one titanium and one hyperium. And now we have two ships. And nothing to research. Not No probe or, I mean, exploration to send out here. So let's send out a probe, maybe. This is a void. I don't know exactly what that how that's going to play out. Let's say we're going to send a probe here. We'll go out this way. All right, let's do that. I'll send a probe here. There it is. Okay, we'll send another probe maybe down this way. Okay. Okay, now that we've sent a probe in those two directions, I don't think I have any movement points left. Nope, zero out of five. We have a settler, but I think I'll wait with that. What is this one here? A meteor field, asteroid field, plus 50 uh, industry on your system, but you have to be within range. Minus 50 accuracy on long range. Hmm. So if we have a weapon with short range and somebody attacks us, we might be able to intercept them here. 25% extra experience on fleet. Hmm. If you just stay there, I guess. Uh, and then, well, wait a minute. Artemis over here? Let's check it out. Artemis 1. Large gas, warm, inhospitable. Tiny toxic. Now, this is going to be hard to colonize. Tiny steps. Mm, wait a minute. We can do that soon. Soon. And there's another tiny step. Want to be researching steps. Large snow. This is on the cold side of the tech tree. Hey, I'll show you what I mean. Down here. Don't we have a tundra? Step. And then snow. Let's get rid of that one. And go straight for xenobiology instead then. Yeah, let's do that. Right now I can't do anything, but I'm going to have to research this one. Tundra. And then step after that. And then we could get those two, these two here. What does this one give us? Four food, two industry, five dust, three science. As you can see here. Uh, and this one gives us what? Three. Okay. Oh, this one has an extra population slot on the planet. And there's one... Yeah, we can do uh, some... Uh, uh, send some pro or some exploration teams out there. Oh, uh, yep, ex asteroid field. We got that. That's this one over here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, am I good to go? Yeah, three more turns for this one. 
Um, hmm, yep, okay. Well, let's finish. No, wait, we're going to do the laws. I forget about that. So we have dust windfall right now. Let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and look at that here. Um, what do we get? Here we have the ones that are available. Super Tax Act. Ooh, now we'll lose happiness. I don't want that. Larger host. We get a more capacity of uh, manpower. Mm, it's good. Toys for boys. Ooh, more happiness. Minus 10 science, though. New colony. Um, and this gives us... I don't know. Law effect functional. Hmm. Green fertility bill will give us uh, plus 30% per food per... No, 30 food per anomaly on colonized planet on systems. Hmm. Well, I think this one... If I do this one right now, we get 30 more in happiness. We have 40 now, was it? Do we even check that? 40. That brings me up to 70. That means it's going to be... Instead of content, it's going to be happy. That's going to give us a boost. Yeah, that's worth it. Let's do that. Toys for boys. Um, yeah, we can just pass it. Upkeep none. Okay. That looks good. That's all we can do for now. All right. I'm going to go for the next... No, wait. We have two. Can I really move them? No, I can't move them. And turn. I'm leaving my uh, settler around... The planet for now. The academy has been discovered by unknown empire. Hmm. Uh, where were they? Ooh. Wasn't it around here somewhere? Academy embassy enables unlock of new heroes. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, it's all good, right? <laughs> um, now we can move our. What is it called again? Shadow. Uh, where do we go? I guess, well, I guess I'm going this way. I could have gone with the settler before. Ah, here we go. Oh, there's a planet I can settle. Do say one small jungle colonizable. That's going to give us probably a fertile planet, right? Small Mediterranean as well. That's on the hot side of the tech tree. A large Arctic with a rich soil anomaly. That's it. <sighs> do I want to do that? Mm. Fertile. Yeah, it's fertile and hot. This one here? What is this one? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Where did it go? Oh, I have to wait. There's like a delay now. So we're going to hover over that. We're going to wait a second. There. Not fertile. Okay. It's a pretty good system. Pretty good. A lot of food there. It's a quick to gain population. What we really want probably is a minor race to get help us out. Okay, but uh, we can, um, hmm. We could populate the whole system. I mean, these systems by ourselves would be just building more Riftborn, right? Um, okay. What is the requirement, by the way, to get that? See, ah, look, five titanium to get the positive effect. Five Hyperium for the negative, so we're going to need uh, titanium, a lot of it. Okay, so should I send a ship over there and colonize? Hmm, that's a tough one. What did we get again? Let me just look here again. There's nothing special. There will be. There's two. Yeah, I got to send it over here. There are two um, exploration opportunities there, two curiosities. Let's go ahead and take our settler and go up here. Two turns, that's fine. All right, let's go for the next turn. Hmm, okay. We got a new tech unlocked. Empire Development 2, Endless Research Park, and Endless World Technology Deed. Okay, so plus 10 happiness per colony star. If we build this, oh, it'll cost 10 titanium, 10 hyperium. Hmm, and if you're happy, if your empire is happy, it's even better. What do we finish? Off-world agribusiness, and we can have the infinite supermarkets. I'm going to build that one, I think. Now we're going for Tundra, so we can move on to Step, because I was thinking I would go down here. But now I'm going down here. Should I get the Mediterranean instead? You know, that is tempting. 
If I go for the Mediterranean, that is right here. We'll do this one first. Then we'll... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, then we'll go to Xenobiology there. Okay, let's move in our ships. And can I research... Or, I mean, send out an exploration team here. Shadow, we have one. Okay, let's do that. Oh, it's locked. We need level two with Curiosity Expedition Power, and that's... Where is that again? That's down here somewhere. Uh, I don't remember what it looked like here. There, that's four. Okay, maybe not that high then. There. Need to go here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get the first one at least here. Uh, we found blue cap mold. That's science, right? And it gives you 10 happiness on the planet. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. And food and dust. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and take our settler and go ahead and settle. Because this planet now is pretty decent, right? It's going to give us... It's fertile, negative 5, but still plus 10. So I'm, I'm fine with that. There we go. So 17 turns until we get... Ooh. That's uh, quite a while. What can we do? We can greener grass. Absorb 10 uh, from opponents. Can't do that. Merchants and money. 100% production on system. Can't afford 10. No, we can't. Or Hyperium. So we can't do anything. We just have to uh, wait it out there. Blue cap mold. That's good. Are we going to wait here? No, probably not, right? Because there's none. Life form. Wait a minute. Okay, we can't do it here though, can we? No, it's locked. Okay, so, oh, wait a minute. It's, it ends here. That's interesting, isn't it? Hmm. So it's going to be hard to get there. Okay, I'd say we take our ship and leave, right? And go back down this way. Like that. And two more turns for where Earth foams. Okay, good. Well, we haven't met anybody, but we are sending some probes out. They're still investigating. And in one turn, we do get the drone networks. It's looking pretty good. I will stop it here for now, but I'll be back with more from Ended Space 2 and the Riftborn, I guess. Hey guys, this is Time and Tactics. Thank you very much for watching the video. It sure helps me out a lot. If you'd like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and or that like, and I will see you in the next video.